and welcome back to the Land Land World. So today I'll be showing you guys how to clean red snapper. Let's get started. Okay, so first I'm starting off with some pre-clean snapper from the butcher. Now, even though they say they clean it, the first thing I check for is scales, um, especially around the head area. That's where they really miss a lot of, of the fish scales. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back and take all the scales out of the fish. Alright, so once I'm finished done scaling all the fishes, now I'm just going to go ahead and give it a rinse and also the bowl of rinse so we can get started on actually cleaning the fish. Alright, so now I have already went ahead and rinsed off the fish and also the bowl using cold water. So now we're going to start off by breaking the jaw of the fish where you see the tongue. We're going to go ahead and remove all of that. Alright, so after removing the jaw and the tongue from the fish, we're just going to go inside and just remove all the extra gunk. Once we went ahead and cleaned the inside, we're just going to go ahead and take off this little piece right here. I always was told that's the private part of the fish and that has to be removed as well. And that's it. Now we're just going to go ahead and mark our fish so that all the seasoning and the acid from the lime that we're going to use can go all throughout the fish. And now here I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same steps. I always just double check for scales and then I start to clean the inside with this fish. It currently don't have a head so we just go straight to cleaning inside. So now that we're done cleaning all our fish, we're just going to go ahead and give it a quick rinse again with some cold water and start with the cleaning process. First thing we're going to use is some lemon juice. Then we're going to go ahead and pour in some vinegar. 
Now we're also going to add in some salt. Then we're going to go ahead and add in some fresh lime. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and take the lime pieces and rub it throughout the fish and remove any of the extra gunk as well. I did leave the fish in this mixture for about 10 to 15 minutes just because I wanted to get the lime flavor really incorporated into the fish. Then I rinsed it out with some cold water. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for part two. Bye!